Hi, I'm Terry Simpson, and this is Sports School's short routine for lower legs. So first thing I want you to do is just to stack one foot on top of the other. And working the front part of your lower legs, find your balance point and just lift your toes straight up and straight down. What you're working is tibialis anterior muscle right on the front part of your shins. Of course, you can see this is going to be great for doing water ski, snowboard, and that sort of thing. It provides stability to your ankle and also the front part of your leg. So once you've done this about eight more times, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take your toe out to about a 45 degree angle away from you, but keep your heel pressed against those front toes. Out, out, ooh. You'll feel it start working. Also, if you're sitting at home or sitting at your desk at work, you can do this underneath your desk. Sitting in a chair, it works just the same. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then go to the inside. Turn your foot inside. So working the ankle as well as the tibialis anterior, really pulling up and through the front part of that leg. The light tap down to the floor. Those of you who do a lot of skiing, snowboarding, that sort of thing, you feel that muscle really start getting really kind of achy and sore when you on your first long day of skiing. It's a way of kind of cross training and getting prepared to go out, go out on those slopes. And two more, one more, switch sides. Put the other foot behind, press that heel into those toes and lift straight up and straight down. Your knee and your front foot is slightly bent. You're just lifting straight up and straight down. You can almost use music. Let's say, for example, you're sitting at your desk, you're working, you got music going on, just find a rhythm. You're going up and down, just tapping right along with the rhythm. But you're focusing on really pulling up. Remember, your lower legs are very important. There's so much in, in yoga and in athletics, it's all about grounding down, being grounded to the floor. Well, your calves, your lower legs, your ankles, that's where that all starts. So then from here, take it out to a 45 degree angle. Make sure you keep that heel pressed into those toes. If you need to make an adjustment, do it. You may find that your toes sort of walk to the outside, totally normal. Just kind of pull it back in, keep going. As always, guys, there's no perfect way of doing this. You need to pause and make sure you're finishing in the right way or starting in the right way, do it. You've got that technology, you've got that feature, use it. Go to the inside. Working that muscle, it's starting to burn. Strengthening your ankles, which also works for all different kinds of football and basketball, baseball. You gotta have strong ankles in which to move properly, laterally as well as linearly. Four, three, two, and then separate your feet. From here, put your feet about six inches apart. Again, if you're sitting down, you can still do the same thing. Lift yourself up onto your toes, bring yourself way up. Elongate through your body, or at least through your lower leg if you're sitting down, and press your heels straight from the ceiling, you can straight up and straight down, trying to get all the way up on the balls of your feet. Once your heels have come up, don't set them down. You don't want to let that muscle rest. Your calves are really resilient. They can take a lot of work, right? They carry you all day long. They can take a lot of work. So when they start burning, that's really when the work starts to kick in. You start feeling that flare up back there, keep going. That's when you're going to get the results. Oh yeah, you give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold up, hold just for a moment, way up on your toes, hold way up, way up, way up, way up. Try to go from your big toe, roll all the way out to your small toe, roll all the way into your big toe. Oh, pull your inner thighs together, knees together, roll all the way back out to your, to your pinky toe, your small toe, roll your outside thighs out, roll back in your big toe, pull your knees together, and then just turn your toes inward and your heels outward. You'll notice that your balance point changes, right? For jumping ability, leaping ability, it all comes from your calves. So whether you're doing volleyball or basketball or things, you have to be explosive, sprinting, that sort of thing, it all comes from your calf muscles. And right now you're working your gastrocnemius and your soleus, both together. But by letting yourself come down, you're also lengthening that Achilles tendon. Oh, yeah. When these things burn, they burn. Ooh. Man. I got a little barbecue going back there. In 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
Once again, hold all the way up as high as you possibly can. Imagine there's a string attached to your head. It's pulling you all the way to the ceiling. It's burning. It's burning. Oh, turn your toes all the way to the outside. Go into a turnout position. So you're not going to be totally turned out, but try to squeeze your inner thighs together, keeping your heels almost so they touch, but your toes are way out, way past 45 degrees, 45 degree angles to the outside. And lift up and through. Maintain your balance point if you're standing. Oh, that's this. Oh, this is. Oh, that's that this. Oh. So you're lifting up and through. So this, just make it a little more interesting. Hold all the way up as high as you can. Hold it way up there. And a very, very small pulse. Tiny, tiny pulse. You really just tighten the muscle all the way down. Actin myosin contraction. Actin myosin contract like this. You want to make it as tight as possible. There we go. 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 30, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 26, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Oh, I'm slowing down because it hurts more. Ugh. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, squeeze. Five, four, three. On the one, hold it all the way up. Check your heels. They may have widened out a little bit, but see if you have, turn them back in. Stay way up there, squeezing your knees together. Stay way up, way up on those toes. Take it all the way up on that big toe. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, blow on your calves. Take one small step back. Find an easy stretch of the muscle. As you lengthen the front leg, if you're sitting at a chair, just press those heels back below your knee. Oh, step that foot up. Press the other foot back. So as you're stretching, if you're limited for time, you need to work your lower body or you want to add something to the rest of the work routines we have, whether it be the Ultimate Workout Series or the other short routines we have available to you, use it. You have that technology. You can customize your own workout. We'll see you again really soon at Sports School.